I've chosen another book from my shelf today. It's called Skin. It's by Adrian Maria Vretos. It's a very good book. I picked it up in Borders. I was flipping through it, and I found myself six chapters in still standing in the aisle reading. So I figured I should probably buy it. So I went and bought it, and I couldn't put it down. I finished it that night. It's a very seriously good story. I'll give you a little background information first. Um, it's narrated by a boy named Donnie. It's about how his parents' relationship is falling slash fallen apart, and his older sister, who she, he should be able to depend on and look up to, has a really serious eating disorder. So it kind of leaves him feeling alone a lot of the time. But this is a scene when he has a fever, and it's just a good way to show you guys some of the writing style and kind of the way that it works inside Donnie's head. So I'll read you this real quick. Hello, I say, and my voice comes out a raspy squeak. I say it again, louder. Hello, and the word gets swallowed up by the sound an empty house makes. They've been at the emergency room for two hours with Karen, and I've been sitting here straight back on the edge of the middle couch cushion for one hour and 54 minutes. When you're alone like this, time will show you its tricks. Like taking four minutes to click from 1.34 a.m. to 1.35 a.m., or moving from 2 a.m. to 2.13 a.m. when you swear you just looked down and scratched your ankle for a millisecond. I say ha when the clock does that last trick. You can't argue with a clock. Time can mess with you as much as it wants. So it's kind of all over the place, like when you have a fever. And I just really enjoy the style of writing. Um, the story is very serious with his sister. Um, she has a lot of trouble and it kind of feels like the story is revolving around his sister. She's dying to be thin and he's struggling to survive. And you know, it just really isn't always about him, and I don't know how fair that is. And he feels just as frail as she does because he has no support. It Everything, everyone is focused on his sister so much so that he gets overlooked. And he ends up just being the other kid. People always asking about his sister. People always caring about his sister. And then there's Donnie. I just feel like it's a really really good feel-good story in the end. It's sad, but it's like the full roller coaster, and you end up feeling better once you've read it. So it's a quick read. Uh, if Even if you're not a quick reader necessarily, um, it's not too long, and like I said, I couldn't put it down, so you'll find time. It'll go fast. So I recommend, as always, that you drop by your local library, check it out, read it, and you know, report back to me.